No one knows better than I do how frightening I can be. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Free Run Beyond Journeys and episode 25 called A Fatal Vulnerability. If you like Free Run Beyond Journeys and smash that like button, follow my channel if you Yo! want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this fatal vulnerability. So, I mean we did end off the last episode with Farron saying that you know she was able to beat Freerun. she might have something up her her sleeve oh someone's bleeding out oh he was fighting sense oh man so what if that replica of sense ends up coming here and like joining forces with the free run replica. Oh my gosh, don't tell me Mystic Mike was correct here. Because remember, I'm the one who said that I think, I feel like he's going to be killed. Probably the only one who's going to be killed in this whole thing. Just because he had the most panic in the beginning. That was my intention from the start. And then who was the person who said no? I don't think we actually got their name. Damn, so Method A has like... She's quite strong. Healing spells and she's got... We saw she was able to like read the mind and stuff. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because I mean, since she's not here to help anybody, the replicas are being controlled. Oh wow, Louis knows that. My older brother was in an advanced party. Oh, so her brother told her. Richter. He's got it like he hasn't liked them from the beginning. <laughs> Anyone would think twice about working with you. <laughs> it's something that stings about having it said to my face. <laughs> Awesome. So what would, how would they do it? Oh, it's in the treasure room. So that's probably that, yes, the purple diamond. Oh my gosh, did I not say it? Man, Mystic Mike is on point. Once you defeated, all the replicas will disappear. And that's what I was saying, that the, rep the Spiegel is probably weak. So it's sealed with a sealing spell. Oh, that's powerful. It's a top class sealing spell. So they're gonna have to beat Freerun, anyways. Damn. So, like, I'm sure that, like, time's ticking right now, you know. We may have a chance. Oh, she's gonna demonstrate that technique, I think. But doesn't it make everybody just look at Free and like, how strong is this mage? Wow! The speed! <laughs> She's so strong. Only Denken could get it. Oh. Wow, I've never been very good about it. That's embarrassing. 
しかし他の技量があまりにも卓越しすぎている実際にこの気をつける魔法使いなどほとんどいないだろう So she basically the stop、uh, the stops she basically stops detecting mana when she's casting something essentially so in that moment say she's defending she won't be able to pick you up over here attacking her damn but fern figured it out though you seem to be having fun because it obviously reminds her of you know the heroes group damn this is must be a throwback yeah He's hungover. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Look at Hyatt's face, is completely blue. Oh, Himmel from the top. Damn, and that's probably how they beat the Demon King as well. Look at Levine and Kane busy arguing in the back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hilarious. Like the characters in here are like actually really cool. I can't fight anymore. I can't fight anymore. I can't fight anymore. I can't fight anymore. I'm the mage of the party that cleared the most dungeons in history. Damn. I'm the mage of the party that cleared the most dungeons in history. Damn. お前たち二人だけで大丈夫なのか。少人数の方が相手の行動を予測しやすいからね。What? So it's only gonna be the two of them? 戦えばほぼ確実に勝てるだろうけど、大半が死ぬことになると思う。多分脱出用ゴーレムを使うような暇もないよ。それよりも最新部に集まって。Oh, so they're gonna slow down the replicas gathering. That's probably damn, and it's everyone now. Dude, it's just. I mean, it goes without saying, but Freeran is so strong, dude. Even she knows how strong she is, but she's so, like, casual about it. Like, most of us will die. <laughs> like, we'll win if we all attack, but most of us will die. <laughs> and, like, you, you're talking about yourself when you're saying this. So, like, how far above are you compared to everyone else? So this looks like it's gonna be some good, a good fight scene over here. Damn, they go up together, crazy. Jurajin, wow, dude, wow, wow. Incredible. <laughs> this is amazing. This is actually amazing. Damn, Volzambel. I stopped detecting mana. Dude. Dude, this is so hype. This is crazy. No one knows better than I do how frightening I can be, and that's what I was saying. She's so strong, dude. It's ridiculous. Not even I can easily detect you when you're hidden. Zoltrak. Oh, so it's about the speed. Oh, it's relatively new spell for elves. Interesting. Let's go. Oh, the time spent thinking about it slows them down. <laughs> Let's go, Feren. Ah! The Zoltra can kill me. Woo! Oh, wow. Throwback. I thought you didn't like me. Why? 
so humans were against magic because they thought it was um, used by demons. Oh, so is this why she holds essentially the first mage class exam? First class mage exam. Wow, <clears throat> that's not what I want. Wow, she already knew that she would do that. Seri would do that. Wow, walk with me a little. We have all the time in the world because they're elves. Right, because obviously you knew her since she was a little kid. And that's interesting because it's like, it's the same as how Freya knows Farron. Wow. It's literally giving Freerun and Farron. The humans will overtake us. It's just crazy how she's like, yeah, in a mere thousand years. Like. Wow, right in half. Wow, if anybody kills you, it'd either be the demon king or a human mage. Because. Damn. And that's basically Farron. Dude, and that's the opening. Wow. Oh, Zoltrak from right behind. Oh. Crazy. Wow. Really good episode. Um, I don't know, like, I just, I kind of drifted off there at the end just because I was like, you know, I was literally thinking over the time, you know, when Siri talks about just it's a mere thousand years, like, it just kind of has you thinking, how would life be in that, in that type of case? Like, how would that even work, you know? Because... It's not like, okay, think about it like this. You have like dogs and you have humans, right? And the, like the gap between how they live and you live is different. A, a super old dog will be like 16 or something. So the way we like instinctively know inside that you're going to have your, your pets, but you know, it's just like, it's a known fact in your head that... It's going to die before you, right? This is like, you know this. So it's probably the same with the elves, except times a thousand even. Because they literally see all these different types of advancements with human beings. And that's why, like, even when they were talking about Flamma, our free run said, like, it always seemed like she was in a hurry. And then Sarah is like, because they live closer to death than we do. You know, we live closer to eternity. So it kind of makes you think, like, how old can they actually get? Because I was thinking, like, oh, you know, like, a thousand years is, like, a pretty old elf. But the way they talk about it, a thousand is, you know, only, like, a couple of years to them. And so in that sense, like, Freerun is actually a young elf, even though she's over a thousand years old. Just interesting how, you know... What Farron actually figured out, and it all comes back to that move, which is so crazy. It comes back to Zoltra. It started off with the demons, right? Then it took them 80 years to figure it out, human beings to figure it out, and now it's like simple magic, right? It's simple offensive magic, as they put it. But the problem is, is that elves have not been there when it was happening, or the way it was being taught, right? Because Freerun is actually the person who kind of figured out the spell to begin with. But then the difference is, and it, it shows you that difference with age, because 
Farron was born and she was already taught that technique. So to her, that's like it's light work. So she can see every in and the ins and outs of the technique. Whereas Freeran still has to think about it for a split second of how to adjust and how to react to it. And in that moment is her weakness. But it's like Richter was saying, she's so good everywhere else that that minor weakness doesn't even really matter to anybody. And then, boom. And then we saw Farron was able to defeat the, the replica. It's a very interesting, crazy scene. It was, just, it was just so hype, you know, when everything was going on and them trying to figure it out. Really interesting to see how they're actually going to end this season. I think they said something like 28 episodes. So we, we're right there. And this really has been a journey. And I'm glad I took it. The one thing I will say is that Free and Beyond Journey's End has taught me that, like the patience, you know, not everything has to be just like crazy fights and battles. And there's a lot you can take from the slow paced unveiling of things. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. If you like Free and Beyond Journey's End, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because I'm releasing every single day of the week. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.